Hi everyone, this is Krishna Vandanapu, a business applications MVP, a Microsoft certified trainer. Welcome to my channel. In today's video, we will learn about the differences between a regular gallery and a flexible gallery. Also, we will see some of the challenges we are experiencing in day in day out when we are implementing apps in Power Apps. If you have not subscribed to my channel, this is the best time to subscribe to learn what is new and the best practices in Power Platform. Before we jump onto the solution or the Power App, I want to walk you through two very common and regular scenarios we experience when we implement a gallery in a regular gallery rather than as a flexible height gallery. Scenario number one, when you notice in the first row, the description or the text on this label is not completely rendered because the height of that label is not supporting the text which is supposed to render on that label. If I had to implement the same with a flexible gallery, it automatically increases the height of the label, also the height of the template size of the gallery. This is an advantage if you implement a gallery with a flexible gallery template for all the fields where you cannot predict the number of rows you will receive from the data source. Scenario number two, empty rows issue. What is this empty rows issue is while we are performing filters in gallery, if the filter criteria is not part of the row in a regular gallery, we will end up getting empty rows. But whereas in flexible gallery, the gallery will be automatically adjusted and we don't see any empty rows. Example, if I want to see all the products where my product name has Montana or my product name is Montana. If I validate between the regular gallery and a flexible gallery, see what the result. In a regular gallery, I see all the rows where I don't have product name with Montana or product name as Montana. But whereas in flexible gallery, the gallery got automatically adjusted and all the rows turned out as like this. These are the two very common issues we see while we are implementing gallery. Now let us understand how a gallery can be handled. Also, when we have to convert the gallery, which is already as part of a old app or in middle of our development of the app. I logged on to Power Apps Maker Portal. In Power Apps, gallery control can be added as part of this ribbon. And when you are trying to add gallery, most of the times we will end up adding vertical gallery. But if we spend one more minute, we have total six type of galleries. I agree. Below three are a replica of above three, but these are blank galleries. If we don't know the data type, the best suggestion is use the blank gallery, whether it is a vertical, horizontal or a flexible and associate the data with the appropriate controls inside the gallery. In this scenario, I know my data is plain text. So I will be select regular vertical gallery and my data source is reports. What is this data source? As it shows, it is a SharePoint list. And in that list, I have 200 list items. Now here, I wanted to change my layout because I don't have any images in my gallery. So when you select a vertical gallery, the default layout we will get as image and title and subtitle. This is the one we will get. But now I want to switch that to title and subtitle. In that, the second value I want to see is description. And I will say the height of this label as auto height. The time I say auto height, the data spilled over to the next row because it is auto height and I am getting the description more than two lines. How we could restrict that is there are two approaches to handle this issue. Approach number one, you can cut down the number of characters you want to show as part of the description. But in this case, user is losing the complete context of the description. Approach number two, replace your gallery with a flexible gallery, which we will see in a while. Before that, one other property I want to show as part of a gallery, which is very important is template size. What is the template size is, when you see gallery is number of rows, each and every row will associate with a particular number of properties. In this case, 
the template size is associated with each and every row. If I say my template size as 200, each and every row height will become 200. There you go. It automatically adjusts. You might think that, okay, I will say 200. But when you notice closely, I am getting a blank space here, though I don't require as part of row 2, isn't it? If I render the same data with a flexible height gallery, see what happens. Flexible height gallery and I am providing the same data source and I will be changing my layout to blank and I am selecting my controls inside my gallery as label. This is getting my title of the row. I will go ahead and add one more label to show the description of my product, product description and I will be expanding my label width to adjust the width of the gallery and in this case also I will say auto height. Now I will be playing my template size like the way how I have mentioned the template size for regular gallery. In my gallery what I will be doing is label 3 dot y plus label 3 dot height which is my title label height plus label 5 which is my description label height. The time I say look at the gallery auto adjusted the positioning of elements and if I just add one separator here also I went ahead and added one rectangle with the height as 1 and the y position of the rectangle is label 5 y and label 5 height. You might be wondering the data is clumsy here but when you play the app you see that data is properly adjusted with the height of my description label. Here I see a blank space though it is really really not required. And one more issue we will end up looking at here is if user provide additional text for this description say like for demonstration I am just copying and pasting the same text and when I go back and refresh the data source in the app and play the app this gallery automatically adjusted the height but whereas here the data spill over to the next row we cannot go and adjust the template size every time when the data is keep on increasing the best solution is implement that with a flexible height gallery the scenario number two in this scenario what i wanted to do is i want to filter my gallery with the product name contains montana or product name has the value as Montana. To achieve that we need to write filter as part of my items property. When you notice here I see a warning stating that delegation warning the highlighted part of this formula might not work correctly on large data set. The reason behind that is my product is a multi select choice field. When you see the list settings my product is a choice with checkbox allow multiple selection which means I will get more than one I had to use in because I don't know my product name is a first one or a last one if you use start with the product name starting with will only come but I want my product name to be at any place how we can handle that is I'll say get all my list data with the order as ID ascending but in my gallery, I am grouping all the controls on that group, go to visible property of that and write the same formula what we have written as part of filter. But in this, in this I will say this item dot product dot value, which means that I am hiding all the controls. This will avoid my delegation warning and can filter my gallery irrespective of number of rows in my data source but when I go and say Montana it has Montana here but again 17th row has Montana but when you see the same behavior with the flexible gallery in my flexible gallery also I did the same formula here the same on the group I have written my formula as same as my regular gallery but the beauty with a flexible gallery is it automatically adjusts the height of the row if the row is blank. In this case, the regular gallery cannot adjust the height of the row if the row doesn't have the data. And the important property we always have to look in gallery is template size. 
let us see what is the template size for the flexible gallery is label product description height label product value height plus label product value y position that is the height of my template in flexible gallery in case of regular gallery also when you notice the template size is label product description which is my second label in the regular gallery as well and product and product y position though all the properties are same between the regular gallery and flexible gallery flexible gallery is automatically adjusting the height of the empty rows and showing the gallery appropriately without any blank rows this is how i can avoid my empty rows though my filter criteria are on top of a uh, complex column types the third scenario is converting a regular gallery which is already existed in the app to a flexible gallery i have a regular gallery with all the data if i go and see under layout there is no way i can convert my gallery from regular gallery to a flexible gallery now create one more gallery in the same container but this time i'm adding blank flexible height gallery and assigning the same data source whatever the data source i have as part of my regular gallery the first step we need to do is ensure that the template size is same as the template size of my regular gallery the template size is this i have copy pasted now you copy paste the controls inside the gallery onto the flexible height gallery copy that select the gallery click on the pencil and paste it here you go once you paste all the controls it automatically adjust the height of the gallery as it required if you notice my regular gallery has been converted to flexible gallery and i don't need this gallery anymore but remember before you delete the existing regular gallery rename your controls of the template size because this is pointing to the regular gallery whatever the names you have as part of the flexible gallery replace with in my case it is underscore three i am replacing with underscore three so it points to my flexible height gallery rather than onto the regular height gallery once i am done with my change i don't need this gallery anymore so select the regular gallery and just say delete here you go my regular gallery is no more existed now my regular gallery got converted to a flexible gallery without any challenges this is how i can make my life easy though i implement regular gallery in case of flexible gallery i hope you enjoyed watching this video and learned the differences between the regular gallery and a flexible gallery and when to use what and how to convert a regular gallery to a flexible gallery without having any issues if you like the video hit like add your comments here is my contact information if you have any suggestions on new videos you wanted to see go ahead and connect with me on twitter and linkedin wherein i am highly available thank you have a nice day